Okay, can we get some bananas in chat if you can see that we're live? We're waiting for those bananas. This is the third time we're attempting to stream today. There we go, Joel Kit bananas. Assume as dad. Blaze, everyone, too many people. Chat moves too fast. Spasicus, Zapdos. <laughs> Lost the shield out again, the physics. Thank you for all the bananas. Right, that means that we're live. This is the third attempt of streaming today. Attempt number three. Leah Leia, thank you for the bananas. And yes, internet problems. It looks good now. It looks good. We've also got a donation from Baker the Hacker saying Riot Love Heart. So thank you, Baker. I don't know what you mean by Riot. Do you mean the game? The game Riot, which is coming out soon, because I'm really looking forward to that game. And uh, and yeah, it looks like we are now good to go. So a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning there. Which is, it's alright, don't worry about it, we're going now listening to some crinkles, playing... Do I have the music overlay on? Music overlay, where art thou? No! There we go, crinkles is what we're listening to. So I've got things to uh, to talk about today. Oh yes I do, let's log in here though, we were doing some caving. So, I'm going to start this off with a little bit of a, a story of some sorts. <laughs> uh, Pre-stream music today was Michael Jackson, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. I was listening to Kendrick's album earlier, and on there he takes the mick out of the beginning of that song, and it reminded me of it, and I decided to put it on today. And uh, we've got a noise in my ear here from Yellow Harold saying, Here is the traditional fiver. Thank you so much for the donation, buddy. Do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy today's stream. I reckon it's going to be a great one today. And also, Ecoaster has resubscribed for seven months in a row. Absolutely epic support. Thank you so much. Here is your truffle shuffle. That's what we're going to call it, the truffle shuffle. <laughs> Who remembers that, eh? Oh... Uh... Showing my age there. Half of you are like, what? What's the truffle shuffle? Uh, yeah, and anyway, I see some big messages here in chat. Just going to say, I've got a little story to tell at the beginning here. So, anyway, the whole Michael Jackson um, album, Off the Wall, is part of like the disco era of music. And I was thinking about that, and I got a little bit of a funny story to tell. Did you know that there were once riots over disco music? Now, as bizarre as that sounds, the real story is probably even more bizarre. Where has my wood gone? Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm blind. I was thinking I brought a whole stack with me. Yeah, we're on a caving expedition, by the way. So, uh, there, was, there was this whole, like, disco movement. I'm sure you heard about the music. And basically what happened is folk music was sort of dying out a little bit in America. And they were looking for something new to push on to people. And I've got to interrupt the story because Folks23 has resubscribed for 12 months in a row, one year. Absolutely epic support, Folks. Thank you so much for all the support here on the stream. I hope you have a fantastic time in today's one. And uh, and yeah, Extreme UHC. Sign up links in chat for those of you who are subscribed. Right, let's head down below. Let's let's go where the subsidian is and let me continue my story. So. Uh, you know, the music industry, as it were, tried to push disco on people. They sold a lot of disco records and there was like a boom and then a dip where people lost interest in it. And it led to, I think it's, I think Derby is part of the name or something to do with the stadium or the name of the event. But there is an American baseball stadium and diamonds! Woohoo! <laughs> Haven't got any diamonds yet. A pleasant surprise. We're actually here looking for iron. Um, there is a stadium in America, a baseball stadium, where they held an anti-disco rally and they encouraged everyone to come and bring their disco records and burn them because people were tired of disco. Now, what's bizarre about that to me is just that people could, I don't know, treat music like that or just treat anything like that really, that they'd all get together and celebrate their hate of it. It's just a little bit bizarre. Anyway, it turned it ended up like breaking out into riots and people like ran onto the pitch and loads of people set off fires and they were all burning disco records because they didn't like them. And it is so bizarre. It is like a really strange story. I recommend you go uh, look it up on Wikipedia or YouTube or something. Just search disco disco riots stadium something along those lines. It is truly bizarre event that happened and I think I think it ended up with like buildings getting burnt, some damage being done, but nothing like crazy, like people getting killed or hurt or anything, but it was all started over people burning dis disco records. Someone in ch chat says the disco course. Bit of a grim joke, you could, you could say that I guess, you could say that. <laughs> yeah, so that was my little story for you to begin this stream off. As I said, was just reminded by it when I was uh, 
listening to the Michael Jackson song because it's a very very disco-y era track of his. Okay, where have we been? Where have we not been? We need to go up there. We need to go up here. We're looking for iron. We're finding other things. There's some more iron. That's great. There's lots of mobs in this area as round. Anyway, so so tell me, tell me, people, how has your day been? What's everyone been up to? What are we going to talk about this stream? Oh, this goes back round to this bit, does it? Let's plop that there then. So as we make our way out, we should find a little bit more iron, and I think we just spotted some up here. Lambing Cookie says story time with. Assumer, indeed. Let's take all of that. X, can you talk about Extreme UHC a little bit? Says the physics. I can. If you're a subscriber or a patron, you can sign up for it. If you're a subscriber, use assumervoid.com slash Extreme UHC. It's basically an, a UHC event with around 150 to 200 players. We do that on the play.assumervoid.com server and it's not just like my group it's other groups as well mainly all hermits cube hamster is one of the uh youtubers involved who isn't a hermit and you know we just we just kind of ho host the event to get loads of people together and and play uhc a massive match which lasts you know a couple of hours it's uh, really good fun and yeah uh, i gave mumbo a legendary idea for hermitcraft look forward to his video says signum i will will look forward to his video indeed I do watch all of them, I watch all of the Hermits, make sure I keep up to what's going on on the server. Eat to get hearts back, X says tech money, I know that. <laughs> I do know how to play this game, believe it or not. Can you talk about what you want for the next Minecraft update? Uh, Red Banner Up, yeah I could talk about that. I haven't given it much for, off the top of my head, you know, slabs and stairs, builders options are going to be great. Um, I'd love to see... I'd love to see some new mobs, some new things to farm, a new dimension. I mean, I feel like I've played the game for so long now, a good update needs a lot of content, right? And it doesn't need to take a long time to put together, which doesn't feel like something Mo Yang, Mo Yang will pull off, you know? It feels like we'll get something like, you know, the PvP update, not that much to it, and it'll take a long time. It's my guess. It just feels like that's the way things have gone recently. Uh, which would be unfortunate. But yeah, I think just more textures, building blocks, all that kind of stuff is uh, what, what I'm after. So nothing nothing crazy or specific. I would love to see minecarts though. I would like to see them like a redstone block minecart or being able to activate dispenser minecarts with redstone. That could be really fascinating. But I think the, uh, the builders are definitely the people who are due an update at this point because... They're forever starved of their slabs and stairs. Alright, rails is another thing we're collecting. This guy can't go over them. 1.10 will be released in 2020, says uh, KZ5. E. Someone actually like did the math and scaled all the updates and calculated it would come out on like 2018 if it followed the current trend, which it probably won't, but... I think Mo Yang know that this time they got to be quick with an update because their game is, is precious and... And they've neglected it a little bit. Right, let's let's pick up these rails. Okay, we are we are just finding so much stuff here. We got more subscribers. We got a uh, Lob Sega 74. I I do believe I've butchered your name. That is a typical thing that happens here. And also Slagfish has subscribed. Thank you to the both of you for subscribing. Here is your little shuffle, and I hope you enjoyed today's stream. As I've mentioned already, you can now sign up for the Extreme UHC if that interests you at all. Man, there are so many rails here. Apparently someone's been down here before. That couldn't have been me, because I would have collected these rails. How odd. Maybe we've sort of overlapped to another area that's been explored now. Uh, but we should probably head back soon. We're not going to be here all day. This appears to be mini ravine. Looks like a mini ravine, doesn't it? And wow, lapis on the ground. We want that. That being said, I do have tons of lapis. <laughs> but we'll collect it anyway. Maybe there'll be diamonds down here. I'm going to get lost so quickly. Oh my god. And i got noises in my ear that I need to read. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, <laughs> keep up with chat as well. It is so, so difficult. Right, more lapis, more redstone, more everything. I think we're going to have to make a crafting bench soon to pick all this stuff up. Put them into block form. Yeah, now's about the time to do that. All right. So let's have a look. Um, Python is here in chat. Hey, buddy. I see you on the server. I was going to say hi, and then I... You know, I was streaming. I got distracted. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. 
Wow, that is a lot of lapis, just saying. A lot of lapis. Alright, so all of that has now been condensed to two slots. Redstone can do the same. And so can all this coal as well. Okay, that's good. Let's bring this with us. Uh, that on Pro Gamer says, At Asuma, did you see my reply to your OBS comment? Give me a second, I'm going to cough. Right, so I got a comment on a video saying that I should set my OBS to X264 and 1000. Python said, just came on here for a screeny to be fair. Oh, okay, logging in for a thumbnail, the classic. So have a sip of this tea. This tea is going to be suboptimal now because we've had too many resets. Too many resets while I was trying to get going. And I see all the donations and stuff on the side. I will get to that one thing at a time. First of all, OBS. OBS, um, when you set it to 1000, you are recording at 1 megabit a second. That is worse than what YouTube streams at, I believe. You want to record at as high as you can. I record at 72 megabytes per second. Um, if you are using X264, you are using your CPU to do the transcoding when it most likely has a built-in transcoder and so would your graphics card as well. So I use NVIDIA NVEC and that does the transcoding which means we offload the processing from the CPU to a dedicated piece of hardware that does that and it means the CPU performance doesn't impact the game. So that's my reply to you. I haven't seen your reply unfortunately. Best thing to do would be to tweet me it because I always see tweets. You know, I read every one of them. Amma says, did he forget tea again? I didn't. I'm sitting here having a sip. I'm drinking a lot of it right now so I can catch up with everything. And, uh, yeah, just basically catch up with everything and read all these messages. Because we've got, look, we got them coming through left, right and centre here. It's crazy. Streaming on here lately is 90% saying thank you to people, it seems like. So I want to say a massive thank you to my buddy Python GB, who's on the server. He's a fellow hermit for resubscribing for 12 months in a row. One year of support, absolutely epic. Thank you so much, buddy. And also, we got a donation here from Hulk L, or Huckle, Huckle23, saying, Hey X, why isn't Snow Crash a proper hermit? His hermit chunk challenge is the most amazing Minecraft content I've seen in a while, and you guys seem to be in contact. Anyway, I enjoy your videos too, and your opinions in the stream. Um, I can't really say why he isn't, it's just... The, the, the way that people join Hermitcraft is that we discuss it a group. When we feel like we need new people or that there's there's room, there's like, you know, with restarting the server, it was like, right, when we do this this time, we want, want it to be epic, we want to have something great going, we need to get new active Minecrafters involved. And I don't really want to talk too much about the picking process, but um, and let me have a sip here. But it's not as straightforward as this person's great, therefore they should be in the group. Because how many other people do you think people could say that about? There are loads of people out there making great Minecraft content. And people who watch them will probably be thinking, I would really like to watch this person on this server. And so if we treated it like that, there'd be so many people that it would just be crazy. Um, so that's why, you know, Snow, Snow Crash isn't on there. Um, Fawkes is here saying, I cannot stay around long tonight, X, but I couldn't leave on the one year anniversary of being a sub without leaving you a little donation. Have a wonderful stream and here's to another year. Free little love hearts. Thank you so much, Fawkes. Really do appreciate it, as always. I hope you have a good time doing whatever you're doing this evening. Uh, we'll be having a good time too, don't worry about us, so thank you again. Also, thank you to Matthew for resubscribing for three months in a row and thank you to Copperman for subscribing. Really do appreciate it, everyone. Right, now we're going to head up here because we have been nattering away. Man, these, these streams are getting crazier and crazier. Uh, DRB, DR, no, Dr. Big Mix, <laughs> now that I read it all, says, Snow Crash's farm was on season three. Yeah, that's 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 another point. In a way, he, he is on the server through, through his amazing farm. Although, that server, because it's not on this one. I have been tempted to rebuild that thing, gotta say. I am tempted to rebuild it because it's kind of amazing. So someone's been through here because there's granite in it. And they left behind the rails, which makes no sense. So we've come to an area now where we're overlapping with someone else. And we were going to backtrack to get some lapis, but I think I've lost track of that already. Let's backtrack to the backtrack. <laughs> we're double backtracking now. I don't even know where the beginning is, but I know that we keep going back. So we came... Hi. 
Cheers. That's that's a good find. That's what we came here for. So we came from. No. Uh... Oh, I'm not sure now. Where did we come from? <laughs> I remember coming to this mini... Right, and then we went down where there was water and we could see... I am totally confused. Ah, wait, this this might be it. This might be the lapis that we saw from somewhere else. So we picked that up and now up there... Aha, yes, yes, this is correct. This is where we came from. This little bit here. Okay, everyone is saying lolcat in chat. <laughs> Do not know why. Okay, I tweeted you my OBS thing, says that on ProGamer. I, I so want to know... What it is you've said that I will check during a stream, which is something I don't normally do. <laughs> I'm going to be naughty. Oh, we are just finding more stuff. We're getting more noises in me here. Are we ever going to get out of this cave? It's uh, Jotaro this time saying, You're lucky I'm in a good mood because the day is Tuesday. Is it? And everyone knows that Tuesday is Vegeta night. Today's Thursday, mate. <laughs> now, <laughs> I may have spoiled your good mood. As you now know, it's not what you thought it was. Um, yeah, today's Thursday, mate. Wherever you are in the world, it's either Thursday or Friday. So, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I might have spoiled your Vegeta night. Uh, either way, I like Vegetas. And thank you for the donation. Do appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Mexican food. Absolutely awesome stuff. Right, okay. We need to get out of here. I need to check my Twitter. So, can we actually do it? Uh, everyone is asking for lolcat language. I'm going to leave it off today, just because started this way. Right, now this wasn't the way we came through, but I noticed that there was light over here. And this feels like we're going back in the right direction. Okay, I've been here before. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I'm lost. That might have been a really bad idea. Because we've gone from where we knew we were. Okay, we're going around in a circle. Oh my god, we're going to be stuck. We are going to be stuck in here. Oh no, I hate getting lost. I'm usually a very good navigator. I got totally thrown around when we came down here. Maybe... Hmm. Everyone's saying just dig up. You know what? There'll be a point where I'll just dig up. But I'm so determined to find my way out of here. I would, I would normally not give up and keep looking. I'm going to look for a little bit further. Well, we haven't been here because there's rails. But someone else has been here. I really want to find my way out. Um, so Weirdo Man 8 has subscribed. Weirdo Man, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you have a great time on today's stream. Stay weird forever, buddy. <laughs> Don't ever change. Don't ever change on me, Weirdo Man. Right, let's uh, <laughs> let's grab this stuff right here. Yeah, for those of you that are subscribing, we've got a few new people today. Don't forget, Extreme UHC is uh, is happening tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh my, no, 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 day after tomorrow. Wow, I got too excited there. Day after tomorrow is the Extreme UHC, that's right. And it will be at 8 pm BST or 7 pm GMT. Okay, so going back this way. Uh, it can't have been that one because we just tried that. Okay, and we came down here. This is this is the bit we just turned around from a moment ago, and it's definitely a dead end. And down here appears to be a dead end as well, which is confusing to me. I just see iron, no I didn't. Right, so we came from up here, and we're going to go back up there. How often do you stream, says Wizard2? I stream every other day. If it's a weekend, it'll be in the morning. So I'll be streaming on Saturday morning. That's the day of the Extreme UHC. Right, we're going to shoot this skelly. Bam. So this is higher up than the previous area, which is where I've been struggling to get to. So somewhere here, oh, there's no right-hand turn. Well, we are picking up a few more things as we go. Did I get lost down here? Do you know what? If I weren't streaming, I would probably stay here. Okay, yeah, I'm clearly going around in circles. I would stay here until I found a way out, because that's how stubborn I am. But we're streaming. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Going to uh, <laughs> gonna go out the other way. Oh, are we out of torches? We're out of torches, people. That's not good. That is not good. <clears throat> right. Oh, there's lava down there. I see. Okay. I thought for a second there the light might have been another place we hadn't gone to. Oh, I cannot tell you how annoyed that makes me. It's really bad that I get annoyed by this stuff, isn't it? Because usually I don't get lost, but because I'm streaming, it makes it just hard to, to concentrate. Right, we're going we're gonna to get out of here now. 
Life is extremely tiring, isn't it, says Play Twitch. I don't know. If you're busy and active, maybe it is. Uh, can you can you stream UHC? Uh, we don't stream the UHCs, we record them for YouTube. And that's mainly for... I mean, I upload them to my second channel, but it's mainly for other people to have a bit of fun recording and, and get involved in the whole scheduled thing. At least that's how uh, Biffa wanted it to be, because Biffa, Biffa started the whole extreme UHC thing. And, and since then, I've sort of taken over at, like, organising it. Oh, look at this. We're getting more iron on the way out. How fantastic is that? We've got another new subscriber going absolutely mental today, people. What is going on? It is Sally Bally, 1234, resubscri no, resubscribing. A new subscriber here on the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing, so Solly or Sally. I'm not sure how to say that. I hope you have a good time with today's stream. Uh, anonymous Gamer says, busy, active? What do you mean? I was just repeating what someone else said in chat. X, I woke up sick and you have made my morning much better. Pong, that is... Well, it's not good to hear. It's it's bad to hear that you're sick, but I'm glad that this is helping. I hope you uh, feel better. Drink lots of water. Whatever it is you've got, always drink lots of water. Now, when we get to the top here, it's still going to be useless because I don't know where I am in this area. Oh my god, this is bad. Bad on so many levels. Stomp and Smash has subscribed. Stomp and Smash, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy today's stream and have a good time. And that is some Silk Touch. Uh, Silk Touch, that is some Podzol. Has he got fancy boots? I think. Oh, he set me on fire. Oh, and I got put out because of the rain. Right, so, <laughs> from somewhere around here is a portal. And this is the problem. I don't know where that portal is because we didn't backtrack. We might actually have to go back down into that cave to find our way out, now that I think about it. Without a portal, we are sort of stuffed. Oh, why did I not think of that sooner? Also, I had Silk Touch on my shovel. And I could have got some pod soul. But I can buy it from the shop. Whatever. <laughs> uh, we've also got a donation here from Mumbo saying, This will be my last donation for a while as I will have to get mini mumbles extremely soon. Thanks for the great content. Can't wait for more to come. Assuminati or death? Hint, modded his life. Uh, yeah, that reminds me. First of all, thank you for the donation, buddy. Hope you enjoyed today's stream. That reminds me, I was thinking about Assuminati earlier on. I don't think I'm going to be coming back to that probably for a couple of weeks at least. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. I don't like letting people down and saying I'll do it one minute and the next I don't. Uh, but the reality is, every time I go to stream, there's so much I want to do on here. And there's so much to be done. It just feels like this is the thing to play right now. So, I'm not going to stress it, but... Alright, what, what do we want to chuck? String. We've got loads of string. Yeah, I'm not going to stress it, but, you know, <laughs> I'm probably going to end up playing on here all the time when we stream at the moment. So, unfortunately, that's the way it's going to be. Right, so I want that iron. I want all of these as well. Cobblestone, see you later. So has someone been here? Because they put torches, but they haven't taken all of the amazing stuff. And there's a spawner. Wow, okay. What's in the chest? Hmm, interesting. Agent Epic says, Deja vu of this situation, anyone? Well, this happens a lot getting stuck underground, doesn't it? Uh, probably the last time we did this. Oh yeah, no, we streamed this, didn't we? We went cave-in. Maybe it was me who was here before. We went cave-in, we got lost underground, and uh, and yeah, we, we had to like struggle to get out of the, the Mega Tiger. I'm so annoyed that I got lost. I really need to backtrack here. Uh, hey X, are you excited for No Man's Sky, said Dolphin Blaster. That game is out. I think I've got it. I've had it for months. Um, if it's the game I'm thinking of, like a platformer up in the sky with really nice graphics. I followed that game for ages because uh, it looked really cool. But I, didn't, I think I got it confused with another game because when I went and played it, I didn't realise it was a platformer. Um, yeah, so, hey, do you know what this is? If ever I've seen one. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. We'll take the... Well, no, the coal's all sort of tied up, isn't it? It's not actually a lot, and I can't be bothered to take the music disc. Lots of coal here. We'll take the rails, though. And again, we've got a chuck sink. Golden apple. Must take that with us. Man, too much good stuff in my inventory. I'll trade that for that for now. Now, how do I get those torches? Like that? There we go. Clever. Because it was in my hand slot, I picked it off the ground. If you didn't follow what was going on there. 
Right, oh my god, too much stuff going on, and I'm lost in a cave. People, you are crazy hanging out with me today. We're going to get nothing done except ludicrous amounts of iron and then probably die in this cave trying to get out. That's usually... Oh my god, more iron. Who has been through here and not collected the iron? That is what I want to know. How do you not pick up these rails? I'll tell you what, once you've got an iron farm, it's not even going to matter. Um, X, you need to talk about impulse... To impulse about the scumpass, Skizzleman compass. Works awesome underground as well as the never. So yeah, we could use a compass and head back in a particular direction. That's actually really smart. That is really smart. If that's, I'm, I'm guessing that's what you mean. That is that it's just just being smart and using a compass to tell you what direction to go in. Um, right, are we at the same ravine as before? If we are, then this is that bit. <laughs> Oh my god, somewhere around here was the way out, and I just can't remember it. X, what was the first you learned on the guitar? I don't remember the first song I learned on a guitar. That's a really good question. Man, I feel like I should know that. But there are there are plenty of songs that I learned to play on guitar. Uh, you'd be surprised, like, for people who don't know how to play guitar, um, you can go, like, buy a book, and it'll teach you chords and theory and stuff like that, and it all seems a bit boring. Or you can go look at like some, uh, let's say like punk, some some pop punk sort of stuff, heavy metal sometimes if it's like chord driven, power chord even, and can be really easy to learn. Now when I first played guitar it was kind of like, eh, this is, you know, like nothing sounds good. But as soon as you realise that there are some songs out there that sound great and are easy to play, um, you learn to play them and play along with them and then all of a sudden playing the guitar becomes awesome because... Like, you're playing along with your favourite songs, and they're not actually as difficult as you might think. Um, yeah, so a little tip, maybe. Right, is this the way out? No. Oh, my God. We're going to be stuck in here forever. I am so annoyed at how we keep going around in circles, and I can't find the way out. <laughs> Under the wood is the exit, someone says. Hmm, I think I know what bit you're on about. Because we came in here. You guys can watch the stream back and tell me, can't you? Under here? <gasps> oh, person, person in chat, I need to know your name. You are right, you are right. Uh, Nazul, who has an amazing name, Nazul. Thank you so much for getting us out of there. You are absolutely right. It was under the woods. And, right, we came in at this spot right here from up there, I think. And it shouldn't be too far through here that things get recognisable. Yep, yep, this little room, which means we go back over this direction and... Not up there, but through here. Yes, this is my row of torches. Nice. We are getting out of here. Thank you so much. <laughs> really do appreciate that. Got me out of a pickle there. I was getting really frustrated. We actually walked past that wood a couple of times, and I I did sort of ponder and think, yeah, what's going on with this wood? Why do I get this feeling like something to do with this wood here? Okay, so there is our exit. That's it. We're done. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're out of here. So we can we can have a normal stream now, because I can start to read chat and uh, and catch up with everything. So I missed a couple of noises there. We got LM Handsome subscribing. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, buddy. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Also, Aaron here with a donation saying, Congratulations on one year, buddy. Enjoyed all the streams and replays. Thank you for the content. Um, do appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> do appreciate it. One year of what exactly? Because some people are resubscribing for a year. And it has been roughly around a year that I've been streaming. Probably a little bit longer. Probably like a year and a couple of months. Um, actually, no. I think it was day one that I got my partnership. The May School probably subscribed to me. So it is probably been about a month and... Sorry, a year and a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, when I say like subscribing for one year, that's that person, not me. Because I've been live streaming for way longer than that. I got my partnership about a year and a couple of weeks ago. I've been streaming for probably a year and a couple of months and uh, and yeah I've been doing YouTube for like four and a half years or something crazy I, I lose lose track of it all <laughs> uh, A2597 says I'll echo the VR comment instead would you play Minecraft in VR? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keen on VR I'm going to sit back and see what other people do with it and what games come of it and maybe buy myself a VR headset but I'm sort of like not terribly interested in it. I feel like it could very much come off as a gimmick unless people develop the right games for it. 
Um, I don't think I'd be interested in playing Minecraft through VR, but I would be interested in Microsoft's approach to it more, I reckon. Um, yeah, that's that's how I feel about VR. A bit sceptical about it, just sort of taking a, a back seat and watching what's going on and thinking. Right, so, um, peeps, we set out to get ourselves some iron. We have come back with... Look at that right there, over four stacks, a few bits of iron there, that's fantastic. Right, so all those things get to go in there. Diamonds go in there. Get to smelt up the gold. Oh, that's coal, not obsidian. Okay. And then we put the rails somewhere down in here. Right, my armour was a backup. I don't know why I brought the backup armour. I think it was something to do with mending. <laughs> X-Twisted, blaze rods! <laughs> Just for you, buddy. You know what that's about. Uh, for those of you that... I don't have Frostfall. Oh, it was probably already like that. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that want to know what we're on about there, we played Minecraft Story Mode, and like, one of the one of the little characters just, like, their gang name is Blaze Rods, and he just went, Blaze Rods! And it was like, oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's become a little bit of a joke here. Okay, how many of those things have we got? Well, either way, eight we need for a stack, so that'll probably do. Ah, oh, we've already been smelting some there. Cool, right, we're going to need a little bit more by the looks of it. Hi, Asuma, I'm loving Hermitcraft 4, says Loken Polgan. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I have been enjoying it too. It's been amazing. Right, and we'll put that one in there. Excellent. So, everything's smelting up. That's terrific. We need all of that stuff. <laughs> it's going to be good. Right, let's turn on the light in my room. And sit back down. Uh, Copperman says, how do I sign up for the UHC? Go to Extreme... Uh, sorry, every time I get that wrong way around. Go to assumeavoid.com slash Extreme UHC. Now, uh, I had some interesting ideas for today's episode. Oh, sorry, live stream. I was thinking about trying to stream with two cams at once. But after a while, I realised there would be a problem with doing that due to the way that OBS detects... Um, the game that you're playing, so it wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to put two cameras on one stream, which is something I really want to try. Um, I, I I imagine you guys don't want to see me try and do that in the middle of a live stream, though, right? The other thing is, I did want to do a bit of a time lapse and tear down some of this stuff over here. So what I might do is like load up my second computer. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So my plan for today's live stream is to rip out the interiors and exteriors, create a tunnel to the ocean monument, clean up the prank, which I think I already did. So that one can go off the list. Organise my chest, which will probably be a bit slow and boring. So all of you are saying do it. All of you really just want me to give it a shot and try, which we'll do right now. Um, except it's going to be a little bit awkward. I have to log in with Evil X because my other account or computer isn't set up for that one. So let's see what happens here. We're going to log in with Evil Asuma. Now, you guys have asked for it, yet it's going to be a bit derpy, trust me. Oh, I can't log in. Oh, no! Alright, give me give me a second here, people. I'm going to try and log in with Evil X. It'll take me a little bit longer than it should now. Oh, I should have perhaps thought about this a bit more beforehand. Alright, the problem is that i got to, uh, like, it's logged me out, so bear with me a moment here. Um... But, you know, something amazing might come of this. Let's see what happens. Where is Evil X? Is that Evil X? <laughs> I don't even know which one Evil X is. Right, let's try. Log in. Evil X! Yes! Amazing. Right, we haven't lost him. Brilliant. Okay, peeps. Thank you for bearing with me. Evil X is on his way. You can see me moving around. Look, my mouse is wiggling over the screen. What nationality are you, says Admired Darcher. Uh, I am English. Or British. But I'm a person of the world. Let's let's say that. Right, okay. So... Oh, I'm not whitelisted. What's going on? This is ridiculous. Right, we have whitelisted Evil Asuma. Log on. Okay, then we're going to go slash game mode 1. Uh, evil... Zoom up, bam. So Evil X is now in game mode 1. Right, now what I'm going to do is add 
Uh, I'm going to add game capture. Okay. Oh, this might work. <gasps> oh, I think it just worked. Right, so now bear, bear with me. If I press a bunch of buttons... Right, it's going down below the other one. Okay, but I want it above that one. Okay, right, so now now I'm Evil X. Aha! Check it out! Hi! Oh, that looks a bit funky. Give me a second here. Doing some doing some live OBS magic. Aha! Right, and now what we're gonna do is click on edit scene. Oh, this is gonna be amazing if it works. <gasps> yes! Oh look at that! Look at that! We are doing some absolute magic! Oh, voodoo magic on the live stream! Oh, no way! Rocky Rocky Avalon says, stay in character X. I'm not sure what I did to not stay. Like, like Evil X, you want me to talk like Evil X? I can't do that with all the special, without the special effects. Um, I should be opt, but I'm not, so I'll opt. No, I won't opt me, actually. Well, yeah, go on then. Op, evil, assumer. Why not? Have op. <laughs> Not not the best person in the world to give up to. So everyone's like, wow, amazing. Okay, so we can do some really cool stuff this stream. We are going to go um, game mode free. Okay, and then I can teleport to myself. And you're going to have some streamception here. Look, it's me. It is me. Hi. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's like we got built in F, F free cam now. Dum, 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 dum. So I can say... You know, Thank you for subscribing for a year. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, only on my streams. Only on my streams could things get so ridiculous. Uh, so, it is it is up here that we want to remove. And now I'm going to alt tab and all oh, right, so the little the little um cursor appears for a split second. Right, I'm going to load up my second computer because we're going to do a time lapse here. We're going to have like a triple time lapse inception. Oh, and I got to turn on my monitor. Oh, I was not prepared. I could have done better than this. I've got to plug in my mouse. Oh my god! Ouch! Sorry. Bear with me, peeps. Pony Butt says, "But where are the minions? The minions shall return." Episode 500 is coming up, and uh, I don't want to give anything away. But I've even planned for episode 666. That is how ahead of myself I am at the moment. Right. So I just want to make sure. I set everything up here correctly. Got my mouse. I really should have done this earlier. I'm so sorry, people. But if you bear with me, we're going to do some amazingness here on the stream. Right, and then I need my keyboard. Let's see what people in chat are saying. Reboot, reboot the router. Um, shouldn't have any need for that. Like, I'm just getting set up. I, I sort of told myself maybe I won't do this earlier, so I didn't get it all prepped. But I could have turned on my computer and plugged everything in earlier. Oh, I've turned on my other TV. Let's turn on that monitor. My room is just full of monitors and TVs. Right, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Okay. That is absolutely amazing. I've now got like a triple screen setup going on. You guys would love this if you could see it. Okay, so I need to log in. Right, I've done this before, right? I have used two computers at once, and you wouldn't believe it, but when you need to do something on the other computer, for some reason, it can be really difficult to tell yourself to use the other mouse and keyboard, and you end up doing stuff on one computer when you're trying to do it on another one. Oh, it's so good. Right, we're going to have an amazing time in this stream. I think we need to uh, get prepared now to tear things down, so I'm going to put some chests nearby. And wouldn't it be cool if we could control this other camera, like, through some external tool? Does the mouse appear twice? Does it appear on the other... No, it doesn't appear on the other screen. Interesting. Forever Bo says, Lameo X, I have done that. It's so easy to do, isn't it? It's so easy to do. I'm just going to plop these down anywhere, and we'll sort them out later. Alright, so, as part of our stream section, we're going to move this camera account... I'm going to press F1 as well. We're going to start off with the outside over here. Oh, this is so good. This is going to be like creeper alert. <laughs> we get built-in creeper alert. Now, I need to load up my uh, second computer here and bring that one along for the ride. Oh, if I had prepped this a little bit better. Let's chuck those things over there. Oh, I've got a computer mag with me here, by the way. 
I get so many questions saying what sort of computer I should buy. Buy a Mac. There was like three or four articles in there perfect for someone who wanted to buy a new computer. Okay, right. Now we're going to log in with um, Assume Avoid as well. And it's going to be triple inception here. Why do you need iron, Asuma, says Stocksy. Ah, for something I'm going to do in tomorrow's, or sorry, the day after tomorrow's episode. Going to need some iron for it. Okay, what is my frap set to on this computer? It's recording at 10 FPS. No thanks, record at 30. That should be good. By the way, if you're recording for a time lapse, if you record with less frames, it's going to be less intensive on your computer, but you're going to speed it up so the frames will get used anyway. Right, so let's now log in with... Ah, uh... oh, what? I can't join? Oh. Oh, I know why. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> we had to change the IP address. I need to go get the IP address. And not <laughs> let any of you know what it is. We just hit 2,000 viewers. By the way, thank you everyone for tuning in. If you're thinking, what's going on here? We're about to get going. I'm just firing up my other computer. And, uh, and I need to, like, oh, I should have done this all er earlier. Prepare to uh, record. Hermitcraft announcements, there we go, there's the new IP, excellent, let's type it in on my other computer. Right, shouldn't take me long. Yeah, 173 dot 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 half. Excellent, that's the IP address. Does that work? Can we log in with that? It's logging in. I think it worked. Yay, it worked. It worked. Excellent. Okay, that's that's awesome. Right, so now I need to switch that one into game mode 3. Teleport to... To Asuma. Oh, wow. Do you know what, um, do you know what this has? This camera account has night vision. So we're going to affect Asuma. 123, 123. I need to make this into like a macro on my computer. Uh, is that enough times? No, one more. Zero true. So I type this in... Oh, I didn't type in the effect so many times. Minecraft night vision. Wait, what did I just... Oh, I gave it to me! Wait! Oh, I'm a fool! I gave it to the wrong person! <laughs> well, there you go, that's bright. So why didn't I actually get it, though? It didn't give it to me. Oh no, I did get it. Look, I've got night vision. I've got cheaty night vision. Oh, it's a zombie! <laughs> oh, he walked into my base! How did you know how to do that? You are a troublemaker. Oh, and wait. Alright, I've got my... All right, oh my god, this is so derpy! So, effect, Asuma. Minecraft night vision. Uh, one second of, you know, level up, true. And that will be gone. Right, we cleared that. Pretend that didn't happen, peeps. That didn't happen, did it? Okay, so uh, now what I got to do? If you look at the camera in the on the top screen, if I fly this fella out here, can you see his face? <gasps> you can see his face. Do you see it right there? Little ghost. It's the other Asuma. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to point this at the screen uh, and stand to the side so it's not in the way. Excellent. Right, we're going to hit record on that account. And we can now do a time lapse, and you guys can see how it'll look, sort of like in a video. <laughs> how many accounts do you have? Says a free car. I've got three of them. They're all being put to use. We also need to get ourselves a uh, an axe. Where is my... it'll be in my ender chest? It'll be down here. Bam! There it is. Assume as might. Coming in to save the day. All right, peeps. Let's do this now. Uh, the Golden Logan says, well, well, now we have got the IP now. I didn't say that out loud, did I? Sometimes I do that when I read things. I don't think I did, though. Freak the Boy says, uh, if you want a server that the that the UHC called Extreme, go to Badillion. Badillion. Yeah, Badillion isn't vanilla UHC. That's the thing that we did. Like, some people were like, oh, no, this other server does more people than yours. It's like, oh, but it's not vanilla. Like, we're vanilla. Theirs is all sort of... Uh, Pluginized UHC, you know? So ours is like vanilla UHC. It's as close as to vanilla as you can reasonably get. Alright, everyone's saying I did read it out loud. You guys are such trolls, man. Don't be trolling me, giving me a panic, thinking I've read out the Hermitcraft IP. 
Oh, I'm not going to fall for that again. You guys, you guys have tried it too many times now. I know, I know what you're like, looking for a, a little opportunity to, <laughs> to troll me. Hey X, love your videos. You have improved, improved me as a Minecraft. You are an inspiration to me. Being on this live stream is a pleasure. Thank you for making videos and live streaming. Continue to do great videos as well. Thank you so much for the lovely message, buddy. I hope you enjoy all the uh, the videos and live streams because I plan on continuing to do them. Don't know about you guys. Now you're all saying I did. Yeah, sure, whatever. I would never say the IP address on stream. I'm not that silly. I'm not a derp. Right, let's get rid of all these blocks. <laughs> oh... YG says X the real MVP troll. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know what I'm up to. Oh. <laughs> oh, looking at chat now is just hilarious. Uh, Netherlands, Ducko Netherlands says probably just an April Fool's joke. It, it could be, but it's not April Fool's. It's not April Fool's. And now I'm just thinking like an April Fool's video could be here's the IP address for the Hermitcraft server. Come and play now. Uh, I think you've got to be careful with what you do for April Fools, because some people, there's always some people that seem to never know it's April Fools, and I imagine if you saw that, you might get quite upset. Okay, this bit right here is part of the bit we're removing as well. I mean, I spent hours doing this, and although I'm removing it, I think I think it was a lesson. I think the pace at which we were going at was a little too fast to fully like appreciate what we're going to do in the base here, and I need more time to hop on play.sumavoid.com and just hang out there doing some building. So uh, Hermitcraft videos are going to be slowing down a little bit. I hope you guys won't be disappointed by that because I think it will lead to better videos overall because this, this, what we did here was a bit of a mistake. Need to get more of a vision together for this bit. Cool. Alright, so picking up all the blocks. How are you guys liking the, uh, the, the time-lapse camera account there? You can see me going boop, boop, boop <laughs> as I move around. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, Snow Snowgum Bowden says, "Honestly, I feel so bad for you. You built it wrong, which took a while. Then you have to tear it down, which will take a while. And then you have to rebuild it, which will take a while. I have not only got to rebuild it; I've got to design what I'm going to rebuild, which will take a while. Yeah, I, you know, when you do YouTube for as long as I have, you make mistakes like this every now and then, and you realise that you just crack on with it, and it'll be tomorrow before you know it. Which sort of sounds a bit like not so great, but." But really what you've got to realise is that if we tear this down, we'll be able to build something better. Um, and that's what's important. Infinite Bananas says, I burnt my tongue, it's so annoying. It's the worst, isn't it? Because it, I bet you, food won't taste great for a few days after you do that. I've done that too many times. Eating hot food and then everything else tastes rubbish. Because you burnt your tongue. Uh, X, but there is sometimes normal vanilla. And Badillion is said... Bed, bed lion, bed lion. I think that might be what you were saying. Oh, okay. I don't know. I was just told that they don't do vanilla. They do pluginized with like 300 people or something, which um, was was not what we were doing because you know we, we set up a vanilla game and then people were like, oh, you know, Bedillion does it with 300, and we're like, oh, and then we find out it's with plugins. Man, I really love the look of this bit here. We are going to go with a similar theme, but we just need to tie it all together a little better. Some people pointed out that so far my palette for building has sort of been a bit all over the place, and we need to keep it consistent, so that's what we're going to do. Smith, thank you for the hearts in chat. I hope you enjoyed today's stream, and uh, and have a great time hanging out with us. Right, we do not want to lose any of these items, do we? So we need to go put some stuff into a chest very soon. Hey X, can you pretend to end the stream to freak out uh, those who don't read the comments. Well, well, my friends, I've read your comment, which is a bit unfortunate, but it just so happens that that is all that we have time for today. So thank you everyone for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. No, no, you didn't click away, did you? Oh, no. No, wait, what's going on? I'm up here now. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in this little square. That's what I get for trolling, isn't it? That is what I get for trolling. Oh, well. We're now doing a live stream with just this up in the little corner. How's that for you? All right, you got what you asked for. <laughs> oh, let's try and fix that. I bet this is going to be so difficult to fix now. Okay, so uh, first of all, that one. Hi, why don't you do what you do normally? Oh, we got and broken it. <laughs> Wait, apparently I got Minecraft 1.8.1 running somewhere. Okay, what one? Is, what is going on here? What one is what? 
<laughs> we're trapped. We're, we're actually trapped in this little square. I can't get it to undo. What is going on? Is this the derpiest stream you've ever seen? I think I think it's now a contender for the derpiest stream. What is going on? I mean, I'm very confused. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think I know how this works all of a sudden. Right, right, okay, so then... Okay, then we go... Click on that. Ah, done it! I done it, I fixed it! I done diddly did a thing. Okay, we're going to change the camera accounts now. We're going to go in here. Uh, we're going to do that for the second one as well. Which may be like right in the face of this one. Who knows? Right. I'm flying in, can you see me here? Hanging out next to Evil X. Let's also put F1 on this screen. Okay, cool, right. Camera account set up. No, no! <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Freezing Plays says I'm clapping for you. Good job X thank you I'm glad you're enjoying me being a complete and utter derp right now this is so ridiculous um, but we need to get up the top there and I think we're gonna pillar up to do it uh, no I don't know how to approach this but let's climb around to the other side by the way we've got um we got noises in the ear I've been forgetting about them <laughs> Evil X donated saying thank you for the invite to the server. <laughs> Brilliant. No problem, Evil X. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I hope you enjoy filming us and being in the corner of the stream while we uh while we do this. And uh, we also got a new subscriber. It is awesome bot. 123123. Thank you for subscribing, buddy. I hope you enjoy today's stream and have a fantastic time. I'm having a great time. Hope all of you are as well. Also got a donation here from Kinomora saying 173.92456.72. Half. Most totally legit IP address ever. <laughs> Kappa, glad to finally catch a stream. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming by, buddy. I hope you enjoy the stream. Thanks for the donation. And yes, that is the IP address to the Hermitcraft server. Don't tell anyone, alright? No, I'll tell you guys, but don't tell anyone else, alright? Alright, also, how does one enter a half as an IP address? I don't know. I didn't make up the rules, alright? <laughs> anyway, let's continue knocking out all these blocks. This is going to be fun. I do I do not mind a little bit of deconstruction from time to time, you know? Out with the old, in with the new. Isn't that what they say? Not so sure about that. Let's eat some food. Uh, Mr. Prod Prodani says, what did I miss? You have missed a barrel of laughs. We have done so much ridiculous stuff in this stream. Including some uh, double camera magic stuff going on as well, as you can see on the top of your screen. Been messing around with that. To, uh, to much delight of all the people watching me fail to get it to work. And breaking it. Oh, that was hilarious. We accidentally broke it. Man, this axe chops through wood really fast. <laughs> Jeff, Jeffrey Jeff. Oh my god. There's Jeffy Jeff and now there's Jeffrey Jeffrey. Uh, welcome to the stream, buddy. He says, this is my first stream, and yes, I'm enjoying it. Well, that's great. And yes, I have a friend called Jeffy Jeff, so it's funny to see uh, a similar name there. Right, we've got to go down below soon and collect all of those items so that they don't despawn. Um, so we'll chop it all down to this height, and then we'll drop down there and take care of all of that. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? X, can you juggle? Matchel, I can juggle, but right now... I don't want to let any of these items despawn, so we'll save the juggling for a moment. X, do this thing more often, says the physics. Well, uh, now that I know how to do it, I could definitely stream with two cameras more. I think the only question really is, is can I set it up in a way that's a little bit easier to work with? And I don't think I actually can. Uh, it just means if ever I turn off this page like I did then, it will not work. Which is something I don't do too often, actually, so maybe we can do that. Let me know, peeps, in chat with some spam. <laughs> Start spamming if you want it. Yeah? Spamming? You spam? Okay, now stop spamming. I'll see that in a minute, and then I'll know. As uh, Sarsaw says, assume you should make an April Fool's telling people um, the, Herver, the Hermitcraft server is open and the IP address is so-and-so. Yeah, I actually mentioned that a moment ago that you could do that as a troll. But then I said that it'd probably be mean for people that don't get what April Fool's is. 
And we got another noise in the ear. We're now going to hop down below and collect up all of our precious, valuable items, which we do not want to despawn. We don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. Alright, there's loads of spam. Thank you, everyone, for the spam. I hope you've all stopped, because I said to stop, didn't I? Um, because, yes, well and truly clear sign that we are going to do this again, right? Because everyone likes it and it works out well. Okay, all that stuff gets to go in there. Oh, we've got a golden apple. And lots of bones. Where do we get the bones from? <laughs> Why do I have lots of bones on me? Daryl says you can't spam because of the slow mode. This is true, but remember, you're part of a collective. You're part of the hive mind. And when you want to spam, loads of other people will spam with you. And therefore, if everyone's spamming, it becomes spam. Oh, there's a, like a random bush there that we need to get rid of. Okay, so the hardest part to get rid of is this side because it's lower. Lower down, closer to the centre. So uh, we'll start with this corner. It's also like really dark up here, isn't it? Laser rods! <laughs> Oh, Mario BK, thank you for the reminder. Yeah, we've got to do that from time to time. Blaze rods! <laughs> I love that. I love seeing it in chat. It's great. Why is your shovel called a spoon? Uh, I do believe someone suggested that I should call it a spoon, and I was like, yep, amazing, call it a spoon. I mean, why not? Why not call it a spoon? Is this like... <gasps> is this something wrong with calling things a spoon? Let's go back up that ladder. Don't you just hate it when you're holding an apple and then you drop the apple and then you have to pick up the apple but you can never be bothered to pick up the apple and you usually just leave it there. Turtle Duck Man, I tell you what, every time I drop an apple I'm just like, man, I have dropped this apple, I, I'm going to look at it but I'm not going to pick it back up. It is the, I know what you're on about, it's the most annoying thing in the world, isn't it? Uh, Play Twitch says, what's your opinion on the Minecraft Early April Fools update, the trendy update? Uh, I posted a video of it on my second channel. For those of you that want to see... The latest Minecraft, Mojang, Prank, Update, April Fool's thingy, joke, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, why do I keep falling down? <laughs> my second channel has it. I uploaded a very quick video. It really doesn't look like there's too much more than what I showed in that video. I probably should have put it on my main channel, but... Do you know what? I just... I decided, hey, I'm probably not going to do this thing unless I upload it to my second channel. And what I want to do is upload more content there. Just, uh... I've got all sorts of ideas. Whenever I have an idea that isn't, like going to fall in line with what I do on the main channel. I'll just put it on the second. So if that interests any of you, of course, go check it out and subscribe. I upload all of the live streams over there. But yeah, basically there'll be more sort of uh, off the cuff content or stuff that's a bit more improvised, let's say. Like today's video, just quickly made one, showed off a couple of things in the update and, uh, and said, there you go. It's a quick and rough video. Enjoy it. <laughs> um, yeah, for those of you that want to know what is in the trendy update, not a lot. <laughs> there is a block that appears to be the same as the redstone block. It's called a USB charger. There is a uh, is it a an ankle bracelet that tells you if you go too far away from world spawn. There is also this kind of like virtual reality headset and something else, but I forget what it was. It's like a wristwatch that tells you how far you've travelled through the world. It was all sort of like mm, okay didn't feel like there was much more of a point to it than, than what it was. So yeah, that's what that update was. We've also got more noises in my ear, as always. We've got monkey mode here with a donation saying, Five more bucks of tea for X. You shouldn't waste it, mate. <laughs> Thank you for your donation, buddy. I will add it to my already enormous stash of tea. Which, by the way, I tried Earl Grey the other day, and Earl Grey tea is lovely. I love it. And I tried Lady Grey as well, which is a bit more on the fragrance side and I wasn't too keen on, but Earl Grey is definitely a good tea. And I've got some colder Sam here. Excellent. The WG Bros says, I've been sick for a while, but your stream is making my day. That's awesome. I hope you feel uh, better by the end of the stream. Drink lots of water, my friend. And I hope you get better soon. Right. Now we've got to pop round to the other side. Man, taking this down <laughs> is so much quicker than putting it up. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Okay, so I'm going to hop onto this bit. There we go. We can actually do that. I left one of these up here. That's kind of a good thing, having a light source up here. I'll spam a few down, so while we're taking this apart... Yeah, yeah, we'll have some light nearby. Looks good, looks good. Alright, and uh, we also got a new subscriber. It is Darklaw26. Darklaw, my friend, I like your name. <laughs> 
Um, hope your claw isn't too dark. Remember to wash it from time to time. And if you want to play in the Extreme UHC, which is the day after tomorrow, you can sign up for it on the website. All subscribers can sign up for it. It is uh, assumeavoid.com slash Extreme UHC. I reckon I should buy the extremeuhc.com subdomain because each time I say it, I could just finish my sentence and, and have that redirect you to the correct place, couldn't I? Extremeuhc.com, that is so much easier to say. I'm going to look into that. Hi, Clawerferda, welcome to the stream, buddy. I am forever going to butcher your name, you know that by now. I feel that I must clarify that, though, every time I say it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, every time I try and read your name, it's just like, whoa. <laughs> I'll never get the hang of this one. Um, yeah, so we also got a noisy mirror here from Brant, Brant, oh, Brantafors, Brantafors, saying I'm really enjoying tonight's stream. Fun to see you struggle with the camera accounts and sharing air quotes the IP address to the server. Keep up the good work. Thank you, buddy. Never has anyone been thanked for leaking an IP address before. Obviously, it's not really the IP address, um, but yeah, yeah, the the camera accounts thing was a great idea. I should have just been a little bit more prepared for that. By the way, the other one is still recording me destroying all of this. Probably not from the best camera angle, because at the moment I can't see anything I'm doing. So I'm going to get rid of this over here, as that will be visible next. That's one of the things with time lapses, is that you have to think a lot about where you're going to put your camera to make sure you capture everything. Who likes my time lapses? I know you guys like my time lapses. Um, so I don't know why I'm asking that question, but... I feel like I feel like I've like done so many. I've really like learned and improved over time. It's definitely there's definitely some things about it that you don't figure out straight away. You know, you might think, oh, time lapse, just let's go record and speed it up. But you got to think about camera positions. Make sure you ca like capture everything. Got to think about the rate at which you're going to be moving around. So you want your time lapse to be smooth and not like you know one minute you're taking down half a building and then it takes you another three minutes to remove two blocks. Do you know what I mean? Like all of that stuff, the things that I think about when I do the time lapses on the videos, I put a lot of thought into them. And for that reason, I think they turn out pretty good. At least that's what I think. Is the time lapse going to be in the next Hermitcraft episode? Duco, Netherlands? Yes, it is. Uh, as long as it's good, because I, I don't think it's going to be that great, to be fair. I have, you know, just quickly set up the camera account because we're streaming, and this is what I'm talking about. I would have spent a lot more time positioning that camera, thinking about the order in which to take down all of these blocks to make it look good and I didn't get to do that today <laughs> uh, Dota Man says X I love you please give me your shirt <laughs> how would I do that I'm gonna have a t-shirt shop set up before long it's gonna be a um, commission free one so it's basically like you know uh, there's no there's no profit made from it and it's gonna have some amazing designs from Pony Butts who's I think done all but one now. I think we're waiting on one more design and then we're going to be ready to like launch the, the new t-shirts which are for you guys for if you want to wear them. And uh, and yeah, it's going to be great I reckon. Right, I don't want to move too much of this stuff because some of it is the redstone door. Yeah, I'm going to leave the stuff on the sides. Or Actually, no, no I'm not. I'm going to bring it down to this height. And then I'm going to take down that pillar, but not the one on this side. So all of this gets to go now. All of this right here. And then everything on the other side. And that is the plan. I like your build style, says Jeffrey Jeffrey. Thank you, buddy. I uh, I put a lot of time into this one. And now we're, you're saying that as we're tearing it down. I'm going to rebuild it different. Can you play Fade in your time lapses? Can I play Fade? I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say there. Oh, I've uh, I've removed one I said I'd keep, haven't I? No, no, I, I, I was going to remove this and I did. But I should probably keep it, is how we'll describe what just happened there. Okay. Man, it's just reminding me of how much I actually put into this now, seeing all this stuff go. Oh, it was crazy. That's part of it as well. So, yeah. Uh, what's your what's your plan? X says Elytrox. We've got a few more things on the agenda. i got something I want to talk about in a minute. We're just going to finish up this time lapse. Is there anything else I need to remove? I think we've actually covered it all. Yeah, I think we've covered it all. I'll probably make this into a very short time lapse when I edit it, which I could probably do later today. Oh, we've still got a little bit more to do here, I've just realised. We've got that wall over there. So we've sort of massively reverted all the changes that we've made. 
Are there any blocks hidden around down and about? Yep, down here. Fade is a song, apparently, says Decas Bass. Thanks for letting me know. I have not heard that song. Pony Butts says, I don't need any kind of profit from X's shirt, so I'm fine with selling him them commission free. When I say commission free, I mean commission free from me. <laughs> um, and if I wasn't doing them commission free, I, I would pay the person that I've hired to do it, as I've done in the past. Uh, what I've realised is, you know, as, as, a, as a YouTuber, when you do this full time, you do have to think about the, the money side, the business side, you know, because you want to do this for a living. If you don't think about that stuff, one day you might be like, oh, I have to get a real job now. <laughs> and, and that would suck if you really love doing this, right? So, so I set up a t-shirt shop, and what I learned about doing a t-shirt shop is you just make a few pennies from it, really, and I don't think it's worth those pennies. I think if someone wants to wear a t-shirt, they're, they're getting something that they want. They're also supporting you by wearing it, you know, just because it sort of shows off. Someone might say, hey, what's that t-shirt about? Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think that the best way to do it is just to forget about the commission and do them essentially for free. But they'll they'll cost money, but all of that money will go to the person who produces the t-shirt. That's that's sort of the the idea. So yeah, so what I learned through selling shirts in the past is they make so little money, it's really not worth like charging people for it. So I managed to pay off the people who did the designs for the t-shirts, and now you know the next ones we're doing are with Pony Butts, who's who's doing them for free, and then the t-shirts will have no extra price attached to them um, so it'll ju be just for you guys that want to wear them alright so we have officially done that now um, we've done our time lapse was there anything else I needed to do with that I, I feel like we should do more with this but we're not okay so I'm gonna untime lapse and say goodbye to my second computer disconnect see you later second computer <laughs> job well done off you go soon avoid left the game all right, and uh, there we go. Okay, so on my list, rip out interiors and exteriors has been removed. Now, what are we going to do next? Organized chests, I think, is a no-no for a stream. I think that was a bad idea. Um, chopping down wood isn't terribly exciting. Fixing the stables could be cool. And the other one was to create a tunnel to the ocean monument, which is what I kind of like fancy doing right now. So I think we'll do that quickly because I don't think it will take us too long. We just got to get the coordinates of this bottom area, go over to the ocean monument, which might, fingers crossed, might have uh, some stuff and things in it from, from the little farm that we built. It might. Don't get your hopes up, peeps, <laughs> alright? <laughs> Don't get all your hopes up about the items in the Guardian farm, it might not be that great. So what we need to do is take uh, an F3, F2 here. Actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll just type it in chat. Minus, one, three, one, two and 1524 that's where we're going to dig to that is not how you do it cool also if you put a slash before your message you won't have to type it into chat but it'll still be in the memory so you can load it back up again that's pretty cool that's a cool little tip from X right there an accidental tip live on the stream also Biffer is here Biffer welcome to the stream buddy I hope you're doing well you have missed a fantastic stream so far we have done so much derpy stuff We've leaked out the IP address to the server, which includes a half, <laughs> an IP address with a half. We have two camera accounts on, on the live stream at the moment, as you can see. Um, if, I, if I do this carefully, ha, see, there's another account here. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Uh, let's go put the account where we're going to be working, over here. Oh, look at the progress we've made. You can, you can see it all. Right, we're going to go all the way down here. And we're going to be digging in that direction. So I'm going to leave the camera here. We'll be there in a moment. Let's pop back over here. <laughs> and uh, and jump around. Get off your seat and jump around. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Who remembers that song, eh? Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's over on this side. Yes, it is. This is the way. X, can you do an editing live stream? Rocky Avalon... Do you know what? I think I think at some point I'm going to do a video on my second channel for that. I really think that's... Yes! It's been working! That is amazing. Excellent. That is really good. That's put a smile on my face. Right. As if I didn't have one already. Uh, ben Paras says, House of Pain. Indeed, House of Pain is that group. Uh, what way are we going, actually? <laughs> I'm just looking at the other screen. Hey! Oh, there I am. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? 
Oh man, I look so weird. <laughs> Not seen a stream like that before, have you? Right, so we're going over here in this direction some way. Lucid Knight says, do you listen to ASAP Rock? I think you mean ASAP Rocky. I listen to ASAP Ferg. Actually, no, I think I listen to Rocky. I forget which one's which. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is how good I am. Right, oh my god, is there already a tunnel here? 132. Right, minus 132, so we've got to go this way a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, we're out of range as well. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going in the right direction. Confusing myself for a second there. Biffa says, camera adds £10. Brilliant. <laughs> it did make me look a little bit fat. Also, Blind Ducus is saying, is the stream over in chat? Someone should let him know that, no, it's not. We're, we're still going good. Right, I know there's some precious redstone here. Do you know what? I know it's there. I'm going to dig it up anyway. Because I feel like it. There we go. We'll take all of this. Uh, Crownfire says, what is he doing now? We are digging a tunnel back over to our base. So if ever we need a way between the two, we've got that set up. Um, as I say, I don't think it's going to be terribly useful until we add like some ice on it and stuff like that. But then again, we have got the never. Oh wait, where am I at? Right here. Now we go in this direction. This probably wasn't the best of ideas. But we'll get it done. We might find some diamonds and then it will all be good. So the other coordinate is 1524. So about 100 blocks in this direction. Looks like we're going to branch mine for a while. Oh my god, I just had a crazy idea. Uh, if we go to this one and go... Oh, I've got F1 on. Right, now if I click on me... Oh, that's so weird! That is so weird! Okay, we're going to do that for a while now. Hey X, how did you move the camera account? Says A B C E. It is in um, it is in game mode free, spectator mode, which is brilliant for recording. Oh, this is definitely weird. I feel like I'm watching myself, watching myself <laughs> when I look at the other screen. It's, it's quite paranoid. Uh, Rocky Avalon says pointless tunnel is pointless. Is it? Because it just led us into a cave, and this cave is going to be full of diamonds and iron and things that we need, right? Or probably nothing. It might be full of creepers. Ah, uh, looks like it's full of not very much. Yep, it's full of creepers. Let's get out of here quick. <laughs> Let's take all this lapis as well. That creeper's... <gasps> oh. <laughs> I was about to say it. That creeper is going to follow me down here. Oh, man. Some Jay's on fire says, can you change F5 in the other account? Oh. So behind head or looking at? What do we want? Let's try looking at for a moment. <laughs> that's really odd. Okay, so we're looking at me. Oh man, that's crazy. You're watching me mine. Oh, this is amazing. We've got to do this in a video. Like, this is really weird. <laughs> this is really odd. Okay, right, so that's that's pretty cool. Maybe not the best of things to do. Right, it might look really good now when we go around a cave. <laughs> so weird. No, I think the other one's going to be better. That is the best idea. Jay's on fire. You're on fire today with the suggestions. Let's try this mode. <laughs> now you can watch the back of me while I while you watch. It's like first person and second person Inception. This is madness. This is madness. Oh, I can hear that killing joke song, Madness, in my head now. That's all I can hear. I wish I could play that, man. I wish I could just... Play any songs I want and cue them, like, in the middle of the stream. That would be great. We're playing with face cam. <laughs> We're playing with back of head cam. Yes, we are. Diamonds! I knew we'd find diamonds if we did this. Oh, and that is a... Oh, no, there's loads. Lots and lots of diamonds. Oh, my God. So many. Oh, 15 diamonds. Awesome, people. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Okay, this looks like an area I've been in before. Where are we at? Okay, another 24 blocks to go. Let's keep the tunnel going. <laughs> Abyss Abyssal says, this is madness! Yeah, in that song there's this great moment where like the beat's just like banging out and then like one of them shouts this is madness and then like another one shouts this is madness. You can almost like picture them playing it live and just each person one by one shouting out this is madness. It's brilliant. Oh, great song. Go check it out. I think I've played it in a pre-stream before. 
They're a really good band, Killing Joke. I really like them. Put your cam on your face again, please. I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I could I could do a video where I'm like, you know, we're, we're playing on Hermitcraft. We're face cam! And it'll be like, <laughs> face cam up there. Is this a dungeon? No, this is just cobblestone. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi! Hey, we found our way there. <laughs> wow, that's where our secret tunnel comes out. Okay. Not the best of places. Oh my god, there we go. Now people are saying this is Sparta! Classic movie. That one. Alright. All I've got to, to fix this is these blocks. Alright. There it is. Job well done, people. Job well done. We have built a tunnel that I'll probably never use. But it gave us some diamonds, which is good. There's your April Fool's joke, says uh, Spazicus. I've already done my April Fool's. I've already done it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I don't explain to people how this is done, um, that will definitely be an interesting thing that I've managed to do that. That's really cool, isn't it? It is actually really cool. Uh, Dota Man says, do you listen to Danny Brown, Absol, or Joey Badass? I listen to Joey Badass. I haven't got around to those other artists yet. I've heard of their names, but there's so many names out there in the world of music to check out that... Just got to take it one step at a time, you know. Right, let's uh, let's go cross that off my list. <laughs> that wasn't terribly impressive, was it? Uh, the other one is to fix the stables. For that, we need some salt sand, so we're going to have to go to the nether. Uh, we're going to need some brown wool and brown clay, so we're going to dye our sheep over here. Let's also chuck um, these things to be smelted. So we've got more of those. That's terrific. More diamonds. More everything. Right, and I am just getting fed up of organising chests at this point. Looks like we've uh, we've done the first thing. We found ourselves that salt sand. Now, what else is going to go good with salt sand, peeps? What else is going to go good? Hey, X, for a future, you should build a store that sells elytra and the ender dragon heads to the other hermits. What do you think? Uh, the elytra is going to drop every time you kill the dragon. I don't think I would... Uh, I would be up for doing that constantly, like hunting down elytras. That would be very time consuming. Also, I think we've got a donation here that I haven't read out yet. It's from Leah Leia saying, Hey Asuma, if you wanted something hanging down from the ceiling in your room you're deconstructing, you could use glass panes since they are thinner in 1.9. I have laughed so much during this live stream so far that my sides hurt now. I love it though. Brilliant. Thank you so much for the donation, Leah. Yep, uh, great suggestion for the roof. Uh, when I rebuild it, I will keep that in mind. Although I'm going to be building, be real building it on my plot world, so it's going to like um, not look like that immediately, which will be difficult. Oh, I'm glad I saw you. <laughs> Very glad I saw that creeper. But yeah, thank you for the donation. I love, I love a good laugh when your sides hurt. That is the best. That is the best right there. When you've had a good chuckle and your sides hurt. Right. Now we can get our, our brown wool from that, so everything going smooth. When you reach 500,000 subscribers, you should do a face cam. I've said this before. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I just don't want to do one, alright? It's not what I'm about. It really isn't. Okay. I'm going to pick up all of this, all of that, all of them, and that's probably enough brown wool for us for this little job that we're doing. Cool, yeah, that will... Eh, we'll let them regrow. We'll get a few bits more. Wesol says, I was busy with homework and searching for new music and saw you online. And now I'm like, is is I should do homework, but Asumer is... Love Asumer is life. Oh, thank you, Wesol. Uh, you were searching for new music. I, I'd be happy to recommend you music if you want. If anyone ever wants suggestions, like if you just tweet me names of artists you like and be like, suggest me something, I'll happily do that. I love rattling my brain and like thinking of artists to, to recommend. Uh, I think Aiden deserves a lot of hate, an ocelot, says says the Wither Twitch. He deserves an ocelot of hate, is what you mean. I think I get it. Uh, right, brown, brown stained clay, exactly what we're looking for. Oh, more brown wool, excellent. Right, can we get some more brown clay in here? We can get some grey, <laughs> which is not what I was looking for, but it might be just as good. I think we might have some down below somewhere. <laughs> And we got loads of it. We got ridiculous amounts of it. So those three with spruce wood, 
which I don't think I'll use. I'll bring it with me just in case. Uh, they should make our stables look a little bit better. Uh, Dotum Man says, X, what's your favourite rapper? Do you know what? I can never I can never make up my mind, but I've got a top list of rappers. And I don't want to say it because I don't want to miss out any names of anyone. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd have to think that one through a little bit. And because I'm streaming, I'll, I'll be like, too derpy to do it. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is tear up all of this. Oh, we've got a silk touch shovel, so we get the pods all back. And we're going to replace it with these blocks instead. Why are there two screens, says Jonah Shorter. Why not? Why Why not have two screens? What is wrong with that? It's so I can go, oi, you, hi. <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. Okay. Uh, someone says, do you know how to dance shuffle? Oh, and how to bow, bow dance. <laughs> that doesn't look quite the same. We do it like this. Look at the arm. Oh, wait. It's kind of hard to do it in here, isn't it? In fact, let's compare... Oh, this is just weird now. Let's compare how it looks like F5 versus... Uh, I don't look quite the same. You can wiggle. Wiggle your arms around. Yeah. Yeah. Enough of that. <laughs> that was weird. Right. Throw down a few of these. Put in some of them. And a few bits and bobs of that. And that looks a lot more like... I think it needs dirt in there. It definitely needs some dirt and coarse dirt. So I reckon this one is probably the one texture that doesn't quite match. So let's put one of those, one of those. Yeah, what do you think? I think that looks so much better. X, you should do an April Fool's face reveal in which you just show your Minecraft skin without the mask. <laughs> I've already got my April Fool's stuff planned out. Finn the Human says, Blaze Rods! <laughs> Love it. Uh, X, what are you doing? We're, we're taking Samuel L. Jackson outside. He's, he's, he's allowed out of the pen for today. He's been a good studio film actor, hasn't he? Haven't you, Sam? Right, we're going to chuck in a few bits of this. Something like that. I think we're going to go with more of that. One of those at the back. A couple of bits of dirt. And that looks pretty good. Sam, get back in there. See you later. <laughs> Uh, sorry X, that looks like poop, but I like it though, says Snoop Log. Snoop Loggy Log in the house. Um, yeah, it doesn't It doesn't look quite the same. I think whatever I do, some people will like it, some people won't. But I did this on the season before and it looked great. So I kind of want to do it again. Uh, we're going to yeah, chuck down random bits and bobs. And something like that looks pretty good, I think. We also want to transition it on the outside. Tiger Law says the soul sound looks like poop. It kind of does, doesn't it? But... That's sort of half the point. The stables. They're not going to be terribly clean. Alright, so I reckon... I reckon some of these blocks here should probably be changed to the darker colour of clay. Makes sense, doesn't it? That actually looks really good. I think it looks great. Yeah, it's much better now. I think that's what we need right there. I think we've done it. Job well done. This song reminds me of Little Big Adventure 2, uh, Epilogue Sound says. Yeah, I, uh, I never played Little Big Adventure 2. I played like a demo of the first one and really loved it. It's one of those games that like is very, very bad for backwards compatibility and I never really got to properly play it at any point. But that's like an old school DOS game right there. X, are you going to try and do anything on the Game Mode 4 server again? Uh, the Game Mode 4 server ended a long time ago. The world download is available if you want to download it. Um, yeah, that whole thing is sort of over now. Hex, what are your thoughts about the UK leaving the EU? Are you in favour or not? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I think's best. I don't even know. Yeah, no idea at all. But you reminded me of something that I wanted to talk about. It's on my little list, actually. So, the other day, I think someone tweeted... I think it was Notch, maybe. Someone tweeted out... Um, tweeted out a Bernie Sanders clip where he's talking and a bird lands on his podium. So, you know, the bird lands on his podium, that's alright. That's not, that's not why I'm talking about what happened. Because a moment later, a moment later, Bernie said, uh, he said, world peace, no more wars, no more wars. And everyone started cheering along with him. And I was absolutely gobsmacked. I was like, what? And then I thought about it. 
And I realised I have never heard a politician say world peace or no more wars. I've never heard a politician say that. And it just, it completely stunned me. It took me by surprise. And, and then I thought, like, how have I never heard a politician say world peace, no more wars? Like, what is that about? <laughs> what is that about? Oh, my days. Yeah, I'm all for world peace, world peace and no wars, right? <laughs> that's that's what took me by surprise, is that I couldn't believe I actually heard a politician say something like that. Let's collect this wall. Someone in chat says, feel the burn! <laughs> Alright. Dravilla says, and if he does, he's lying. I doubt he's lying. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are people in this world who want world peace. Uh, I believe that I am one of them. I don't believe I'm lying. So why would he be lying about saying world peace? Or are you just saying you wouldn't trust a politician? <laughs> oh. Who is a Bernie Sanders, a politician in the UK? No, he's a politician in the US running for president. Caradar Dryan says, Politicians want world domination via war. Oh, well, you guys are getting me started now. That is not what politicians want. Uh, how can I explain it? War is profitable. War makes money. It makes lots of money for big corporations that are invested in... Here we go again! You guys have got me going on it. Are invested in uh, invested in the arms industries and making weapons. There are corporations that benefit from redeveloping war-torn countries. If you look at all the places America have been to where they've had their wars over the last 20 years, the people who go in and redevelop it after it's been destroyed are all American corporations. So it's the people that run for like politicians that run for power are just a part of that system. They perpetuate that from happening. Bernie Sanders probably wouldn't want that to happen, but it would probably be difficult to change the way things are because you have to go through Congress and Congress doesn't always agree and it just keeps things the same. And so wars will keep happening and people will benefit from them. <laughs> Zape says, please don't start. Every stream turns out like this. Well, I got, I, it's, we got to that point now. I've done all the little jobs I wanted to do. Uh, I guess I could start chopping some wood. Rant time. Lol. Yeah, lucky, lucky. I'm going to go on a rant. Well, I've been on a rant. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Right, saplings. Oh, I've got some of those. I thought I'd use them all. That's good. Where are my other saplings? Wait, jungle. One, two, three, four. That's kind of concerning. I should have more saplings like this. Uh, X, how, where do you get packed ice from? We get packed ice from the packed ice biome. <laughs> it's Tess, she says, don't start with politics, it's a trap. It feels like a trap. I feel like I'm getting sucked in. Uh, Destructo MC says, sorry X, got to go. I have work, it's been fun. Thanks for coming by and checking it out, man. Uh, actually, let's get eight of those. Oh wait, I've only got three jungle sat. How did that happen? Right, so one of those, each of those types of tree, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't have oak. My oak saplings seem to have glitched out of my chest or something. Illegal saplings, says uh, GJ. No, I'm a, I'm a log fella, so all of my saplings are legit, of course. I don't actually have any oak saplings, for the looks of it. Zipwatt says, what about the millions of fluffy bunnies out there? Let's talk about them. Oh, those fluffy bunnies, eh? All they want is war and terror and destruction. Oh, where are my oak saplings? Ian Ballasy says, let's not talk politics. The fact that Clinton and Trump might actually be the two candidates mean means that the party system in the US is completely broken. The democratic aspects of the government. I think the democratic aspects of their government has been broken for a long time. But you're right, we shouldn't get into this. We should save it for another day. We should have a stream where we're like, today's going to be that stream. And we'll talk about it. Man, I don't have any oak saplings, do I? I've got to go find an oak tree to chop down, basically. Let's go do that then. Let's go get our oak saplings. Let's get these trees growing. Let's talk about blaze rods. <laughs> The Logfather sounds a bit like the way Generic B would talk. The Logfather, the Logfather is a serious man. And some people think he's a bit of a gangster. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's put these down in a row over here. 
And those ones right there. Oh no, we've still got more. Yeah, we've got those as well. We've got the spaces out two by two. Oh, Nobby Nuts says there are 64 oak saplings in that chest. I missed it then. We'll go back and we'll find that chest then. Thanks, Nobby. Eagle eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to, trying to space these out a little bit. I know some of them might have trouble growing because of the uh, torch next to them. I am just going to plop them down. <laughs> like this. I can't be bothered. There we go. Right, so hopefully all of those grow. Let's go find the oak ones. Some of you are asking, why is there a front-facing cam? There just is. There just is. That's all you need to know. <laughs> oh, someone says spruce do 2x2. Two two. Absolutely right. Where are these oak saplings? <laughs> you got keen eyes if you can spot them before I can. Maybe it was this chest. Oh my god, what is with, with the other saplings? What's going on? It was with the other saplings. Asuma, how can you exit the game without pausing it? I know it exists that way. Uh, press F3 and P and that changes the way it pauses. Right, one spruce tree has already grown. Quick. We need four saplings. We've got two. We've got three. There's the four. Right, and we're going to go plant down some trees over here in a row. And that'll do us just fine. Someone in chat says, are you vegan or into health foods? I, uh, I'm into eating healthy. I eat lots of healthy food. Um... Mumbo took them, says so Sweet Duck. No, someone, someone chopped down all the trees here, and we don't know who. It was Joe Hills' little tree farm, and it, he assumed it was me because we chopped down tree farms. But it wasn't actually me. It wasn't. It wasn't me. Believe me. <laughs> Ludicrous says, "Remember when Asuma swore that caught us off guard? I didn't swear. What are you on about?" Do you know about the SSSSS? I do, and I shut the SSS down. It's all been shut down over there. Actually, it looks like someone's reopened it. What's going on? Quick, just chop down the street. We've got a noise in my ear. We'll check that one quick. Uh, let's click over here. We've got a donation here say from Phil71994 saying, Hex, what do you think about the TTIP? In case you didn't know it yet, they want to make con... Uh, contracts so multinational companies can have their own courts they judge themselves uh, there are more things to it but I think that one is the most important I know exactly what the uh, TTIP is I think it's incredibly terrible it will put an immense amount of power and immunization in the hands of corporations that act in their own self-interest and not in the interest of the people but apparently this isn't one of those streams but yeah that that's a very dangerous thing that they're trying to make happen and it will be a, a sad day for the world when something like that passes. X, watch out for your pants, says the scavenger. Thanks for the heads up. I'll take them off. They don't need to be there, do they? Right, let's go investigate and see if someone actually took down our No Secret Sapling Society Agency sign. That was a lot of S's. We've got a donation, a noise in my ear here. By the way, thank you for the donation, Phil. Uh, we've got one here from Prazzle. One saying, love the stream. Can you recommend a good thrash metal band? I need something new to listen to. Uh, Prazzle, I can. Off the top of my head, Testament. They released an album in 2008 called Something of the Gods? Clash of the Gods? Um, I'm assuming you know about Slayer, Anthrax, Metallica, all, all the all the greats. So um, Testament would be... That record was really, really good. Let me uh, let me just bring up my archive quickly. I want to know the name of that. So I go to... Oh, wait, that's not the right one. Go to Frash. Wait, Frash. Respond! Computer respond! Okay, it's responded. Yeah, okay, so my recommendation for you is Testament. The The name of the record is... Oh man, why can't I see it? It might be labelled incorrectly. The, formna the Formation of Damnation. Um, I would also recommend, if you like a bit more of an old school thrash metal sound, something with a bit more cleaner vocals, uh, a record called The Art of Dying by Death Angel came out in 2004. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd say Testament's album is pretty brilliant. 
The other one is a bit more of a personal favourite, just because I listen to it a lot. Um, that was at an age where, like, you'd grab whatever you could find, you know? Um, whereas nowadays, there's so much choice, you can go, and so many easy ways to find out about it. You can go onto YouTube before you even buy a record and listen to it. And, like, listen to a whole bunch of stuff and be like, is this for me? Is, is that for me? Whereas back then, I got my little nuclear blast uh, flyer and it had, like, Death Angel new record on. I was like, let's listen to that. And I'd say it's probably, like, not something I'd immediately gravitate towards but because I listen to it loads. I know it's a really good record. And, yeah. So there you go. Two, two recommendations. Formation of Damnation and The Art of Dying. Anyone else? <laughs> you, you can get all the recommendations you want from me. Aliens, uh, Alien says, how do you do that thing with the other cam? Uh, I got another account on here, we're recording both at once. X, which of your series do you enjoy making the most? At the moment, I'd say myth busting has been very enjoyable, but obviously Hermitcraft is great as well. I think the titles in those genres are so weird, says Rhinus. Well, the thing is, like, Thrash Metal and Extreme Metal, it's all, it's all about, like, not ignoring the dark side uh, of life. Like, a lot of Thrash Metal will talk about war and and government and conspiracy and you know horrors that happen in the world but not because they're like you know I don't know weird about it it's more like saying why is not why are not more people talking about this like uh, you know Slayer's Angel of Death is about do you know what? I probably shouldn't tell you who it's about but they talk about very dark stuff but the reason why is because they're shining a light on it they're saying we must not forget that these things happened in our world that people did this and that we need to stop it a lot of thrash is very anti-war um, so, when it says the art of dying, you'll probably find the context of the record is about the art of dying as in war, as in how we, you know, find clever and efficient ways of killing each other with, with horrible machines like guns. You know, it, it looks at things like that and it shines a light on it to say uh, we shouldn't ignore these things. These things are incredibly important because they're happening. So, that's the way I perceive it. Um, there's definitely some bands out there that do it for shock value and for like for the lulls, so to speak, like a band like Cannibal Corpse. You could never take their lyrics seriously. They are seriously just complete... <laughs> it's a complete joke. It's like an in-joke. Um, they have some ridiculous songs and and that's probably not about shining a light on it. That's probably about taking the piss. That band, anyway. Either way, good music. <laughs> Hey X, how long is the delay? The delay is usually about 30 seconds. Alright, so what did we just chop down? Was it a... Uh, it was uh, spruce, wasn't it? So I need, oh no, and we done oak. I need to collect these saplings so we can, can, can continue growing them. We also need like a bigger area to go chop stuff down. I should probably use the log farm that uh, Rendog set up. Hey X, I just watched all of the Guardfall videos from Series 2 as I'm making my own farm. One inspiration, you're the best build ever. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, I'm glad you went and watched those, actually. It's a really great source if you want to know how to build a Guardian farm. Yeah, I kind of documented the whole process there, so I'm glad you made use of that. You should enchant some new leggings, Asuma says Leah Leia. I probably should, but... Uh, could we do that now? Oh, I've got 42 levels. That's the thing we could do. I could figure out where we were at. I think I needed a projectile protection book. Which I probably don't have. Ow! Speaking of which, I want it because of these suckers. Oi! I'm going to get you with a sword. Bam! See you later. Right, let's get those dark oak saplings. Where is that tree? It was over here, wasn't it? Oh, please don't tell me that's... Wait, where was that dark oak tree? <laughs> it's a bad thing to lose your dark oak saplings. I'm sure you know why. That can't be it. I think that's it. We, it must have been over here. Right, and now they're all gone. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh well. X, have you ever heard of the band Death Haven? If not, I'll tweet it at you. Their album, Sunbather, is considered one of the best black metal albums, best metal albums ever made. Considered by some, I think it will take a long time for any new album to be held in that such a high regard. Um, it's also hated a lot, that record, which I've read about the hate towards it, and the hate is completely trivial and idiotic, in my opinion. Like, people get all elitist when they hate against records like that. They're like, oh, this is not what this sort of music should be, and that's like completely missing the point of music. All of that music that they like has come out of people going, this isn't how music should be, let's try something different. 
and then people then then turn their nose back to the opposite way. Does that even make sense? Like a lot of great music is born out of people being rebellious and trying new things, right? And that's what they did. They did something different. Anyway, to answer your question, um, to answer your question, I haven't listened to Sun Baver. I've listened to it a couple of times a few years ago, and I didn't really like it. Then I listened to the new Bahama or whatever the record they put out is, and that record is absolutely stunning. I wrote about it on my music blog. For any of you that are interested in seeing the stuff that I write about, uh, just go to <laughs> asuma.blogspot.co.uk. That's the one. I remembered it. Right, we've got to look through for oh god, for some books at the moment. You, get out of my base. Get out of my base. Oh. Can you visit Doc and Etho's park? Maybe we could. We'll see. We're going to try and do some enchanting now. I think I need projectile protection too, or something like that. Yeah, so Ian, to answer your question properly, I haven't listened to that one properly yet. I've listened to the one after. I think it's brilliant. But I don't think you could call it the uh, one of the greatest me metal records. What makes a great record, I think, is time. Time tells you a lot more about it. Like, look at Dark Side of the Moon. Apparently that record has never left, like, the top 40 or something. It always sells. It's As time goes by, it just proves itself more and more to be a brilliant record. Whereas when something's only a couple of years old, it, it might get washed, washed away in the past over time. You never know. Okay, I'm not seeing what we're looking for. Wait, did I? No, 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 I didn't. Oh man. You're not going to get many projectile protection books. I think the way we might pull it off is by combining books together and doing level 1 enchantments, which is not what I want to do right now. <laughs> not what I want to do. Repair your leggings with diamonds. Uh, Twitch Arno, we got another plan for our uh, for our um, yeah things. Also, we got a new subscriber here. It is Prazzle1 subscribing. Thank you so much for your donation and for subscribing, buddy. I hope you have a great time with today's stream. Hope you enjoy those records as well. If ever you guys want recommendations, tweet me. Man, if loads of people tweeted me, I would probably <laughs> lose out a ton of time just thinking about records and looking through my archive, man. That, that's that's my weak spot, music. Um, oh my god, I can hear something falling down. It better not be a creeper. My god, if that was a creeper, I would have screamed. I would have screamed and cried. I probably would have ran away over here, actually. Tried to make a, a crafty escape. So that's all of the books. We don't have projectile protection. To refresh my memory... Oh, do we have it in here? No. So we need... Oh, projectile protection free. We need to make level four. We need unbreaking free. Oh, it's really not that great a situation. Um... And then we need mending, we also need something else, it might be very expensive. Oh, lots of you saying I missed one. Oh, damn it, please don't be trolling me. Please don't be trolling me. Uh, the last chest we looked through was this one. Oh my god, you better not be trolling me. And lots of people are saying it though, so... We also need Unbreaking Free. People, you are amazing, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is a more, oh, oh, thank you. That is so awesome. Thank you to all of you for spamming me in chat. Oh, we also need fawns on it as well. Right, yeah, that's the other deal. So we can get that on there. I eventually want to put fawns on it. As long as we get mending on it, it will work. So we need unbreaking two and mending, or unbreaking three. Now, did anyone see an unbreaking book? Because I don't want to go through them all again. But I should at least have one. Oh, my days. Okay. Uh, the real Derpy Pig says, have you played the new stuff with the pre-tech yet? I have. Go to my second channel if you want to see a video on that. Um, is what I shall say to you. Second channel. Place to see it, alright? Oh, did we get an unbreaking? I don't think we did. I'm trying to use my eyes very quickly here. I'm trying to be like... Dun, 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 dun. Nope. Uh... Tush Narak has asked about a hundred times, do you know Nate Dog? I don't know Nate Dog personally, but I know who Nate Dog is. Didn't he die? Oh my god. Um Oh, the funky diabetic. The funky diabetic why can't I remember his name? Fife Dog. Fife Dog died. 
I can't believe it. Someone tweeted that at me the other day. I was so upset. Um, from a tribe called Quest. Yeah. Uh, they did, they made an amazing record called The Low End Theory. If anyone here likes hip-hop, likes something a little bit jazzy and smoothier. Smoothier, new word. <laughs> Go check out The Low End Theory by a tribe called Quest. That is a ridiculously brilliant album. I'm breaking free. I just saw it. <laughs> There we go, right, we've got our books. Let's go sort out the... Wait, has that got anything else on it that's going to mess us up? No, it hasn't. Uh, so we've got the things we need... What is that? Okay. <laughs> How did that end up on the floor? Right, so we've got the things that we need. They're in here. Uh, what we also need, though, is... Do you know what? I'm thinking it's almost like going to be as cheap to put it on a new pair of diamond leggings. We'll test that out. We'll see what happens there. Nate Dog died in 2011. That's right. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You'll find as you get older, you hear about lots of people dying. It's quite grim. X, do you like Alt J? Uh, J did. I gave their record a try like a year or two ago. It wasn't quite my cup of tea. But, you know, could always try again if they put out another record or something. Um, yeah, so right, we've got all we need. But we haven't because I'm sure there's something else. Ian Ballasty says, really, really sad. I listened to Can I Kick It many times in his honour. Yeah, I put on a few songs as well. Um, Can I Kick It, brilliant track. Really good one. Although, their second record is definitely better than the, uh, the first one with that on. Let's think. I'm not thinking. I'm just... <laughs> I keep saying over and over again. Isn't there something we need? And I can't think of what it is. Books. We just need books, I think. Yeah, I just want books to check. Right, do I have any unenchanted books? Are they probably in here? Right, it doesn't look like we actually have books. So do we have leather? <laughs> can I find any leather in these chests? That would be so nice. Yes, I can. Right, so let's go to impulses and get some sugarcane. Fawns, says the official Blaze. Yes, but I don't think we're going to get it on a, uh, on a book. Um, Lino says, do you like Michael Jackson's music? Lino, our pre-stream song today was Michael Jackson... Uh, don't stop till you get enough. I'm a big MJ fan. I really love all of his records. I love the stuff with Jackson 5. I like Invincible. Like every record he's done is, is brilliant. Although, post Invincible stuff, Prometheus albums, never listen to them. So you think, thing that's weird there, right, with Prometheus records, if you take someone like Tupac, for example, he knew he was going to die. He knew his death was coming. And so he went to the studio and recorded so much stuff that people could keep making music for him he like made that happen whereas with mj he was so like reluctant about um going to the studio because he was such a perfectionist that um you know like his albums are so far apart he didn't record a lot of stuff with the intention of it being used after he died and so the people the record industries own all the rights to his music then go and pump out album after album every couple of years um yeah, to, to make money off of his, his like, you know, recordings he never wanted people to hear. Also, uh, Mugum Homie Gorgon says, Have you heard about Boogie Death Metal? I am gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my little notes here to check out after I've done stream. That sounds amazing. After done to stream, check out Boogie Death Metal. That's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm gonna do. Apparently the face cam broke. Let me have a look. Oh, face cam be stuck! Trapped by a nether portal. Oh. I can't move. I can't do anything with it. Let's log back in. Interesting. I couldn't actually move with it. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. Oh, look, we can sort of customise the angle a little bit. Let's go with a top-down third-person view. No. <laughs> well, I thought, hey, there's a little evil X face here. Can you, can you see me now? Can you see me? That didn't work. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Bam. There we go. Right, third person mode is now what we're going to use. Uh, X, how would you characterise Casey Neasset's vlogging music? I've haven't watched any of his vlogs to know. Um. Let's go to this thing over here. Yep, that's what I want. We'll just take... Yep, Impulse won't mind. <laughs> He's got plenty to spare. 
Oh, this little camera thing is actually quite brilliant. I do like it. <laughs> it's actually absolutely brilliant, I think. Having a little third-person camera follow. Oh, that is so good! I've got to make use of this in videos now. I've got to find a way to effectively use this. Like, beyond it just being a little bit of a gimmick, you know? Uh, I just realised something, which is that I don't actually want all of that paper. Um, how many books do I want? Realistically, about four, I think. I don't want to waste any of these materials. All right, and let's go. Let's go the long way so that the camera can join us on this journey. X, can you try increasing the FOV on the uh, third-person gamer cam? What if we reduced it? What if we were like shoulder cam? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just even more badass now, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, now let's try making it bigger. Quake Pro! Okay, uh, Alt-Tab. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. We have invented a new way of doing Minecraft today. Multi-camera Minecraft with X. I think Quake Pro sucks. <laughs> just saying. Uh, we've got to go to the correct one, though, haven't we? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on I like it lower. I'm gonna put it on like shoulder cam. Sweet! <laughs> oh it's too good. Bouncy pad! Awesome. Oh, it looks like Mumbo Space has been shut down for investigation. And Wells Knight Space here looking real cool. I like this. I think I think that's not supposed to be like that. I fixed it for you. Pay me in diamonds. I'm joking. That's going to be awesome when it's done. Yeah, so we got to go in this direction. I was just looking around to see if there's any other stuff that's been happening here. Get ourselves some exclusive previews! And all of that. <laughs> uh, Stompy and Smash says, Asuma, does this give you the option to play on one and stream the secondary camera as your main video stream? Could be interesting. Well, I can swap them around either way, really. It doesn't, doesn't matter. We can just stream two at once. I could technically probably load up a third one. And <laughs> try free if my my computer will let me do that. This looks new. I just say, oh no, this is forces building. This isn't actually new. Uh, but somewhere over there, that's where we're going. But this is Sheriff Symmetry's little sheriff's house right here. Oh, this looks cool. There's a jail cell. Oh, what? 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 What the? No! No! Oh. How could you fools? I think it's these these two guys here are the troublemakers. Shh, no one say anything. No one tell her. No one tell her. It's okay. We didn't do anything. Alright, let's go. Going over this way now. Come on, peeps. Do you know Stampy Longnose? I know of the guy. A lot of people go, You you sound like Stampy. I'm like, that's because we're British. You should make a base for the log fellas. Logs Miner, that is an amazing idea. <laughs> that is an amazing idea. Uh, if I don't actually get around to that at any point, remind me sometime. I'll, I'll mention that when I see Rendog that we need a base together. And there's Sheriff False. Let's fire a warning shot. <laughs> that looks so close to hitting her then. Mill and Groat says, love the cam. Awesome. Glad you like it. I think she's going to the same place we are. She knows we're going here. She knows we're going here. Right, as we get down here... Oh, no, she's seen us. I was going to say, it might, might just shift for a moment. and uh, Oh, is it like that, false? Is it like that? Obstacles. Ah, oh, two can play at that game. Two can play at that game. <laughs> hey, it set me on fire. Watch out, false. What is going on? What is going on? Quick, quick. Oh, she's not looking. Yay! <laughs> we got her. We got her good. You can't come back from that. You've been trapped. You've been pinned in. <laughs> no problem. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So, now that we're over here, uh, I've got, like, stuff that I don't need. Maybe False wants some of these. Let's give these items to false. You can have some books, some dirt blocks, some string. Uh, have yourself some sugar cane, spider eye, rotted flesh, 
Some bones. Yeah, all of that looks good, doesn't it? And some worn out shears. <laughs> I don't know if she even knows. X, you swore in a Hermitcraft video a long time ago. You apologise, though. Yes, that was like episode 21 or something. Basically, I left in the wrong clip, and it was one where I goofed up my words and I said a naughty word. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, what are we doing? We're going to check for books. Yeah, I didn't expect to see anything good there. So, really, we want to combine stuff first using an... Oh, there's no anvil here! There is no anvil here! Nan! No anvil! <laughs> Why there no anvil? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yo, dude, make the log fella's base look like a giant log. It must be broken. <laughs> it is. It is. There is no. Oh man, this is the, so silly. What are we doing? Hey, so you're gonna do a modded, another modded or game mode four server? Let's play. Um, a Hermitcraft group want to do a modded series, so I'll probably join in that. Now, if we go through here, we're gonna break it. Did you say you were with XB? Did you say arse when you were with XB? I might have said arse. Arse doesn't really seem like a naughty word to me. So I don't know. Why and how do you have the second cam in the corner, says Razor Cake. Uh, I have two, two Minecraft accounts running. So we've got another one up there. Which is cool. I like it. Oh, it's not too far of a walk, really, is it, from our area? Some of you saying false did it. Block her in. I'm not going to do that. We're gone now. Oh well. Oh well. Doesn't matter. The second screen makes me a little dizzy. Don't look at it then. Don't look at it if it makes you dizzy. Hashtag blame XB indeed. Is he even reading the comments? Says Soul Geo. I don't read my comments. I don't read chat. What are you on about? Of course I read them. Of course I read them. I mean, I read yours, so... <laughs> it's X, you have a butt cam. That is true. It is technically a, a butt cam right there. <laughs> Spartan says, Yo, this sick setup is tight. Thanks, man. <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope it's all good. Alright, peeps. Little reminder. Hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. I do streaming every other day here on Twitch. I imagine some of you are probably uh, new over here. Usually do YouTube primarily. Right, if my anvil here runs out, I'm just going to be done, <laughs> basically. So, what do we want to do? We want to grab the books. So, we come all the way back here anyway. I'm breaking, yes. Projectile protection, yes. I'm going to put that one on first. Cost two. Yep, that costs six. Okay, now we want mending. And then fawns. I do believe fawns is the only other thing. Yeah, it'll just be fawns after that. Excellent, right. So, the only other thing we really want now is XP for it to repair itself. Uh, let's go find our fawns books and just combine those and get an idea of how much this will cost. I imagine it might be it might be a bad idea to combine the books first. I'm not going to do that. I think it might be a bad idea to do it that way around. So we'll put those back in there. Um, yeah, so there we go. We sorted out our leggings, I guess. Also got a noise in my ear. Got a donation here. Two of them, in fact. I missed one, apparently. We've got a donation here from Nobby saying, And in today's forecast, Asuma has no pants and it's very rainy. It's a scary night to witness. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Nobby. And he says, hey, guess what? Your ear doesn't work. He's deaf. Oh my god. Well, thank you for the donations, buddy. Sorry I missed it the first time around. Uh, as you are aware, I am apparently a little bit deaf. <laughs> Panda says, you tired. Or you tried, even. Oh, you tried. I thought you were saying something else. Never mind, I tried. Alright then, peeps. I think it's time for us to wrap things up here. It's been a really awesome live stream. And we have experimented with the second camera stuff, and it's brilliant. I'm definitely going to do something with that uh, in my videos. So, as I already said, follow me here on Twitch. If you want to check out the update for the uh, 
what's it called? The trendy update of Minecraft. I put up a video on my second channel, which is where this live stream will be uploaded to. So uh, go over to YouTube, check it out, and subscribe if it interests you at all. And yeah, thank you to everyone who donated this stream, everyone who subscribed. Really do appreciate all of the support. Thank you for all of you for watching and hanging out in chat. Hope you enjoyed it. And oh yeah, we got to do a raid. Man, how did I almost forget? Don't go anywhere. Nope, don't close down the window. Stop what you're doing right now. We're going to go do a raid. And we got Hypno and False online. I was going to raid Hypno, but you know what? Since False was, is on the server as well, you guys can continue watching yourself some good old Hermitcraft here. So I'm going to post the link in chat. We're going to go and raid False. As always, peeps, thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.